Good morning. Happy Wednesday. It's October 12th. We're live. It's 10 a.m. Eastern. As always, we go live at 10 a.m. Eastern. And uh, it is 7 a.m. where I'm from. So a little bit earlier, but I'm a morning person. So it's all good. Um, we've got a, another awesome guest here on the show. I have uh, seen her on TikTok, on Instagram, and uh, especially on her, uh, well, we'll uncover where I've seen her. Um, if you're tuning in with us, let us know in the comments, where are you tuning in from? Where are you from? Where are you watching from? It's always nice to see where people are uh, calling in from, or I guess not calling, you're not calling in from, uh, opening the Facebook app from. Uh, we go live every single Monday through Friday at 10 a.m. Eastern. Uh, if you want, you can text the letters WUL to 813-296-8553, and uh, you'll get a little text message reminder every single time we go live. It's nothing uh, invasive or it doesn't try to sell you anything. Uh, it's just simply a little uh, text message that says, hey, we're going live, tune in. Uh, it's a much better way to uh, get a little, you know, just a little wake up without having to tune into something lame like CNN or Fox News or something like that. That's going to fill you with a bunch of fear of, you know, uh, the next world war that we're going to get into or whatever else. Uh, instead, hear from people who are building a business just like you want to and uh, and see what's led them to success. So today I'm really excited uh, to have on our guest today. Uh, her name is Bonnie and um, she's crushing it with a really sneaky strategy and we're going to unpack a little bit about that today. Bonnie, what's up? Hey, good morning, Matt. How are you? Good morning. I'm fantastic. Thanks for coming on the show. Nice to be here. I love watching. I usually listen to this on Spotify. Okay, cool. Yeah. Very yeah. cool. Uh, we got lots of people who uh, watch as a uh, or sorry, listen as just like a podcast. So that's yes. cool to hear you do that. Uh, this is your first time on, right? It is. It is. Cool. That's so yeah. exciting. Yeah. I'm glad you're on. Um, so tell everybody here, including me, I actually don't know much, but we've, we've chatted and, uh, you're part of our business blueprints community. We've chatted before, but, um, tell, tell everybody a little bit about your story and your journey and, um, how did you find legendary? Well, I was, um, I've been a single mom for about eight years now, and I've always done side hustles. Okay. Uh, and I was stuck in the side hustle cycle. I was doing everything from online tutoring uh, kids in China. So my days and nights were flipped Wow. Um, to like all the other side hustles you see. Mm -hmm. And in December of 2021, inflation started to kick in and I had to make a choice. Do I find another side hustle or do I figure out how to work from home? So I went to YouTube and I just typed in how to work from home. And I shared the story on my lives a lot because this is what, this is how I found Legendary Marketer. There was a mom doing a quick YouTube video about how she found Legendary Marketer. And uh, she was my age, not all made up, sitting mm. at her desk, literally talking into her phone. And that's how I found Legendary Marketer. Wow. Yeah. Crazy, <laughs> crazy. <laughs> Um, and when you, when you found us, so let's talk about side hustles. You've done like legit, almost like, almost like a job, like teaching, actual teaching yes. uh, or tutoring, uh, yeah. and then other stuff that you had done, anything like anything that was in sort of the marketing realm or like in the business realm or more sort of no. job side hustles. It was side hustles, things cool. I saw online, like designing books on Canva and selling them online, but yeah. nothing that would ever replace all my side hustles to a full-time income. And that Got was it. always my goal to work from home on my own schedule, a full-time income. But so all my other, so my side hustles put together made that happen, but I never thought I would find one. I see. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Um, and, and so you find legendary, uh, tell us a little bit about, you know, how did the process go of, of going through the challenge and what was that like? How was your experience well, going through the challenge? I absolutely loved it because for someone, um, that had never heard about this, um, 
it was super beginner friendly. The 15 days was super beginner friendly. And I'm not going to lie. I had to watch the videos a bunch of times, especially day three, because, you know, <laughs> I don't have advanced tech skills at all. Sure. Um, but I, I absolutely love the way it was broken down. Mm -hmm. um, so I went through it at night after my boys went to sleep. Cool. And some days I had to watch it again in the morning with coffee. <laughs> <laughs> but it was definitely easy for me to follow because of how it was organized. Yeah, cool. And I think it's I think it's just really helpful and valuable for people to know, you know, that people are watching and rewatching and going through it again. And I like it just happens all the time. Will will people message me or or uh, send me an email or something and say, you know, oh, dude, I just can't get this. And then I'll email them the next day. And uh, like 24 hours later and say, you know, hey, did you try blah, blah, blah. And they'll immediately just write back and say, hey, I actually watched the videos a couple more times and, and I got it. It made sense. Yeah. <laughs> and I never want to tell people, hey, you just need to rewatch the training. But a lot of times everything's I, there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, when you so you dive into the challenge, you work your way through the entire challenge. And I'm I'm sort of curious um, from your end. You're thinking, okay, I've seen people creating content on TikTok, <clears throat> and I'm guessing your eyes are kind of open to um, how people are creating, for instance, short form video content yeah. and turning it into a little side business. Not little, I mean, a pretty great side business. Your last 30 days have been amazing. I mean, you're Thank killing. You. Thank you. And um, just getting started too, you know? So, but- I'm curious, like, what was your feeling about that? Because not everybody's super excited about just popping on video and, and creating content. Well, I had never heard of TikTok. I okay. have to tell you, I had never heard of it. And when I put it on my this phone the great. first time and the algorithm didn't know what I wanted to see, sure. um, I was like, yeah, I'm never getting on this ever. <laughs> um, but that's that's the way you connect with people. Mm -hmm. Um and after a while of doing short form videos and just, you know, getting comfortable with what I'm comfortable doing on camera, what I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a trendy dancer and all that. Like, it's great that people do that. But, you know, <laughs> if you, if you're not comfortable with that, it comes across on camera. Yeah. Um, but I just had to get out of my, of my comfort zone. And like, this is what I have to do. If I want to stop these side hustles, I got to get on camera. Hmm. And it took a while. It took a while to really get comfortable and, and you know, figure out my message. Sure. Yeah, and also just actually hitting post for the first time. When you say a while, uh, people say things like this a lot. And I, I'm wondering what exactly this means. But when you say a while, it took a while. Um, tell me about specifically what was happening during that a while. Like what did you start creating like a TikTok channel and an Instagram uh, profile and like start to like kind of look around, maybe hit post and then delete it or like, you know, what, what did that look like? What was the nerves? What was the feeling there? It was... Uh just really being overwhelmed by social media mm. because I did not grow up at the age of social media and I didn't really know how to do social media, to be honest with you. Yeah. Like what even is it? Right. I mean, I was on Facebook and kept in touch with friends, but to actually promote things online, it's very different than just commenting on someone's kids like, Oh, they're really cute. Very different type of post. Right. Yes, content creation versus just sort of social engagement, just sort of whatever, uh, hanging out on social media or something. You know why this is so helpful is um, there's just so many people out there like you. Um, and even and even the funny part is like my generation, too, of people who like for the most part, the average friend that I have here, like in Phoenix, like my my everyday friends, like they wouldn't have any clue where to start posting short form content to go viral or to get views or to sell something. 
they'd be like, what? Like TikTok is just where you like lay in bed and maybe like just scroll through videos for entertainment. Like, what are we talking about? How does that even work? And, um, and in, you know, in 2020, and I, I know some people who own like, uh, restaurants and I know some people who own, um, various like brick and mortar, small businesses. And it's funny because our community, uh, at legendary, we've, we've had a course out on TikTok for, I think over two years. Yeah. Over two years. And, and our community has been destroying it on TikTok. I mean, crushing on TikTok for like two years and, and Instagram reels too. We've had a course on that for a year and people are just now the, the very forefront of the average business owner is just now starting to tr- test the waters with TikTok, with yes. Instagram reels. And I, I think most people are still really confused and lost on all of that. And even on just how do I how do I create a following on social media? You know, because sometimes the way that you explain that even is is it seems or it feels a bit um intimidating um okay. to get on social media. But the truth is, is everybody's sort of making it up as they go, sort of just trying to figure it out, like what's going on? I don't know how to do this. That's basically everybody. Um, I think a lot of people, um, I know I went through this. I didn't want to show my face because I didn't want people to pass judgment. Mm. And then one day I had an epiphany that I go to the supermarket, I go to Costco, I go to the library, and hundreds of people see me out and I don't give it a second thought. And I'm not Hmm. providing them with any value. I'm simply going about my day. So why would this be any different? Here I'm providing value. And I really had to get over that of what people thought of how I look and my age on TikTok. I just had to get past that. Wow. Yeah. It was a moment. (laughs) (laughs) It was a moment. It was a whole moment. It was a whole moment. (laughs) It is funny. Like, um, you know, I, I don't know. Tell us about what it's like now on the other side of that feeling, because, you know, a lot of people who are watching right now know what that feeling is like. They don't need to be told what that feels like. Oh, yeah. But they but they might wonder, what does that feel like on the other side? If if I were to actually break through, if I were to actually uh, come out on the other side and start doing the thing that I fear the most. It's uh, personally for me. um I'm very, it's getting uncomfortable, you know? And when you accomplish getting comfortable again, you're like, I can do this. Um, I actually look forward to my morning lives literally every single day now. Wow. And I never thought I would say that. Um, I look forward to people getting on my lives and asking questions and I could help them. So for me, it's, you celebrate the small wins because I never thought I would be on TikTok, let alone showing my face and doing live. So celebrate those small wins. Yeah. And the, the, I imagine the payoff, the feeling, I, it's funny because, you know, going on, going live on TikTok, that's, that is sort of an intimidating thing. I mean, talk about being vulnerable, like, that's yeah. it's a really going live anywhere is a really intimidating, vulnerable thing, but maybe even more so on something like TikTok or Instagram or something where, you know, you number one, you're feeling new, you're feeling vulnerable, you're feeling like, you know, anybody can just <laughs> scroll through and tap in and OK, what's Bonnie up to? You know, it, it's yeah, it's that's a tough thing. So you go live every day. Yes, Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. California time. So um, it's 7.20 here. So I'll be on later this morning. And I absolutely love the community that comes to my life. Hmm. 99% of the time, it's people that are genuinely interested in how I work from home. Um, And the other 1%, you know, it's very easy to tap a few things and block them. So Sure, totally. Yeah, it's not that hard to do at all, and no. it it keeps it keeps them out of your world, and it keeps them, um, well, it just it frees your mind a little bit not to have to worry about what they're gonna say or do or 
Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of, there's just a lot of dumb people on social media that are, that are out to get other people or whatever. But so you go live. <clears throat> All right. Let, hold on. So when did you start your TikTok channel? How long ago? Um, I started it in January. Okay. It doesn't mean I posted anything. I'll be honest sure. with you. Um, I was not consistent. Let's just be really honest and vulnerable here. I was not consistent. Um, my content at the beginning was terrible. Um, and then I really buckled down hmm. because I just kept thinking if other people are doing it, I can do it. I'm clearly, I'm not being as consistent as I need to be. So I started in January, but uh, even after I had a thousand followers or two, I did not go live consistently and going live was a game changer for my channel for making content, that was the game changer. Yeah, why, why was, why, why do you call that the game changer? What, what did it do? Or so, um, started in January. Hang on. Let me, let me finish that train of thought. Yeah. When, when was that sort of like, all right, I'm going to, okay. I got to get serious with this. When was that moment? It matches up with the, I got to show my face more often moment. Hmm. Yeah. Um, wow. It was just like an epiphany. Like, I'm I'm not I'm not being consistent in all ways. Whether on social media, posting often enough, I got to get over showing my face. Just a whole bunch of stuff kind of came together at once. Cool. When do and, you know about when that was? Ish. Uh, goodness. Maybe a few months into it. Okay. So it takes you yeah. a few months. Um, yeah. What was the uh, what what caused or what was the epiphany about like going live? Did you see other people doing that and you were like, "Dang, that seems to be working." Or what? Well, I did. Uh, yes, I saw other people and their lives inspired me. Cool. Um, and then I had to really think about when I did online teaching, I did not bat an eye being on camera. Mm. And I don't Isn't know what funny? what the difference was. Yeah, I was teaching kids, but their parents were right next to them, right? I don't know what the difference was. And when I had to really analyze it, like I was providing them value and I was teaching them a skill. Why is this any different? Oh man, isn't that and funny it, how like we do that with this online? Yeah, oh, that's funny. And that's when I just decided, you know what? <clears throat> I'm, I'm going to view this as like a morning webinar and I'm gonna get on and I'm gonna teach and that's what I'm comfortable with. Yeah. And that's oh when I gosh. really, um, I tapped into what I was comfortable doing years ago. Yeah. So smart. That's genius because sometimes it happens. Weird, <laughs> yeah. There's this weird taboo around social media about, uh, you know, social media or just the internet in general. And like, yeah. and um, especially around like starting a business because there's so much out there that's just real actual BS. Yes. And so people are, people are nervous or worried or unsure, but tapping into something that you've already done, it's like nobody feels weird feelings about showing up to work every morning. It's like you sh you're going to walk in and show your face at work. Like, but something like, about, so don't get me wrong. My first lot, my first few were disastrous. They were like the wild, wild west. And I'm like, I'm never doing this again. And I had to take <laughs> a break. And then I buckled down again. Don't get right. me wrong. It wasn't like the sky opened up and birds sang, you know, um, right. But after a while, I did find my, like, I'm back to teaching online momentum. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Wow. I mean, yeah. geez, that's power. Yeah. I mean, maybe the big difference is that, you know, you're sort of betting on yourself. Uh, there, I think that a lot of times people have, <clears throat> have a hard time with the difference between, you know, for instance, go into work, you're, you're betting on somebody else and it's not as vulnerable. Uh, there's not on the, uh, there's not a lot on the line for you in that moment every day as in like the business could go away. You'll find another job. In this right. case, it really is, you know, if you're it, think about what it implies, if you go live, it implies you've got a message. It implies you've got something important to say, you know, and so you go live and yeah, your first ones are probably going to be terrible <laughs> or mine. 
Mine are embarrassing. Yeah. Ten years ago, just getting started, I'm doing a webinar from my living room floor. Uh, yeah. I it is it's a hard to even think about, and yeah. um, and no one shows up. But I do the webinar anyway, and it's a nightmare. I thought I was going to send it out to my email list, my tiny email list, um, and uh, it was so bad I didn't even send it out. Because I was like, oh, my God, I can't imagine anyone watching this. And, I, you know, I like that you bring that up because wouldn't you agree everybody has a day one? Everybody? Yes. And sometimes, honestly, Matt, sometimes our day one continues for 30 or 60 days. <laughs> <laughs> Where you think it's not going to get better. But the truth is, if you're consistent with it, Right. Day one does end. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. It does. Yeah. The day one. <laughs> I like yeah. that. Um, yeah. It, it ends. It, it definitely ends. And there's just, I don't know. It's just the same with anything, right? I mean, it's the same with uh, learning a new language, learning calculus, learning, you know, whatever. It's <clears throat> that first day really sucks and your brain's overwhelmed and you feel like life's kind of falling apart. Yeah. And then day two and then day five and you're like, OK, well, it, it, it there's somebody who said um, I, I can't remember who said this, but uh, basically he said, you know, everything's going to work out. It has to. Everything's going to work out. Because it has to. Yes. And if you're consistent enough, the human spirit, the human nature in us will sort of take over and you'll start to figure out different ways of being. How do I wake up in the morning, get excited and go live? How do I wake up, create five pieces of content and explode my TikTok channel? Everybody in this, everybody in this community seems to do three to five pieces of content a day, but you know, there's content creators out there doing 10 pieces of content a day, 15 pieces of content a day that are pretty similar, but they're, you know, they add a new twist or they add a, just a slightly different music or something. Um, <clears throat> and, or a different outfit or a different colored background or a different, you know, just like, and they'll just, they'll just pump out ideas and content and post at different times in the day. And uh, people in our community do that too. But yeah, I think escaping or or not escaping, but powering through that day one moment is really like that's the key to virtually everything. Yes, it's, you know, I think back to when I started new jobs and day one was the hardest. Like you didn't even know the layout of the building. You didn't know where the little break room was. It's Oh, it's, yeah. It's getting really familiar with what you're doing and it's going to be uncomfortable. Mm. But, you know, when you push through what's waiting on the other side, it's really good. Really right. Good. Yeah. What's what's on oh, when you go live? Okay. Yeah. So when you go live um <clears throat> and your your what? Okay. You had a day one for content. You had a day one for your lives. What do you what do you talk about day one, your first TikTok live, right? Because a lot of people end up hitting a thousand followers and they're like, okay, you know, this is my whole goal. I wanted to make it here. Now I can put yeah. a link in my bio and now I can go live and all this stuff. What, what do you think, um, what's important for somebody to know when they are first going live? What kind of strategies have you employed, deployed and what exactly um, do you teach? What do you talk about when you're relatively still small, but um, you're going live every day at 9 a.m.? Yeah. Well, the first thing, tell your story. Stories connect people. And while you may think your story is not that mind-blowing, there are other people that you will connect with. So mm. tell your story because, you know, I follow other content creators on TikTok and everyone says, tell your story, hmm. tell your story. And it may, and you may not be comfortable. Like I don't like getting out there and telling my story like, Hey, I'm a single mom and I struggled for so many years and this is, and you know, I flipped, but other moms, other moms or divorced moms, or, you know, I get it because my partner and I, we have flipped schedules. So someone's always with the kids. 
All right. Tell, tell your story. That's the mm. first thing. And even if you don't have any results yet, show them what you're learning. Show them what you have done so far because you will connect with them. They're like, you know, I'm on day three of the challenge and I have a thousand followers already and this is what they're showing me and this is what I'm going to mirror in the training. Show them. Mm. Yes. Love that. That's and yeah. What's happened since you've gone live? What's 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 what changes? What has resulted in your business? What's a result that you've got from going live that you didn't expect or what's well, Matt, yeah. I I am I am an ordinary regular mom and this is what I talk about on my lives like I drive a minivan, I go to sports meets. I never thought I'd be doing lives, let alone <laughs> having tons of people that purposely come to my live every day because wow. they want to hear what I'm going to say. I don't think I'm anything special. I don't think I'm doing something other people can't do. So to have people purposely come into my lives hmm. to listen to me, it's, it's really mind blowing. Um, <laughs> But the community has been so incredibly supportive. Now, if somebody comes in and they say something negative, I don't even have a chance to hit block before five people chime in. Mm. And that, that is really, that's just mind blowing. Wow. Yeah. It's the power of really building a following. That's, yes. that's incredible. And also <clears throat> when you go live, you know, you said something, you said, it's mind blowing to me that people show up to my life. But if yeah. you think about it, I'm not mind blown by that at all. I'm, I mean, with people who go out onto the internet and teach valuable skills or teach something that's, that's um, maybe not controversial, but they teach something that's not quite the status quo or not yes. quite what's taught by the majority of the population or the majority of the world. It's never super surprising. I think it's, I think when you unpack it, it's less surprising. People want to lean in. People want to be like, man, what, what's she going to tell us today? What's new today? What's going on? Like, and even, you know, I think some people want to tune in multiple days in a row. They want to tune in again. They want to sit with it. You know, I was just looking at a metric for our company about the length of time from somebody hitting one of our pages for the first time. We have mm -hmm. really good tracking in place on our, on our whole website, all our websites and funnels. And uh, that journey is a long time. It's many days. It's usually yes. never the first day. They'll hit our page. They'll leave. They'll come back in a few days. They'll leave. They'll come back again. They'll come back many times before they ever spend a single dollar with us. Yeah. So it's no wonder that people are tuning in, watching, re-watching. And also, when you go live, this is something I learned is you know it often feels like you're you're kind of covering the same thing you're talking yes. about the same concepts talking about the same thing talking about you know whatever but there's a magic there is a big time magic secret in learning that there's people who need to hear the information multiple ways differently in different formats um it's why for instance, our decade in a day training has a lot of the similar concepts and setup as the challenge as the affiliate blueprint. And we've had people come into that training and be like, well, you know, a lot of this is covered in the affiliate marketing business blueprint. Why are we doing this live? And when people get to relearn and relearn and see it differently and then apply it and try it this way, that's how you really cement something and learn something. Yes. And so when people come into your lives, it's no surprise. The same way it's no surprise where if somebody's a yesterday we on a dating coach, if somebody goes to his lives and shows up to his lives and watch a lot of his videos, yeah, it's because they they're struggling with dating or they're struggling with money or they're struggling with parenting or whatever. And they're gonna do when they find somebody who they resonate with, somebody that they trust, that they feel like this person's giving it to me straight, which you definitely do in your lives. Thank and you. I've seen your lives many times. They show up on my for you page. No kidding. Even on even on accounts I don't follow you on. Uh, I'll just wow. be scrolling around randomly and it's like, oh shit, there's Bonnie. 
Um, <laughs> you're getting a lot of good exposure. You're doing Thank great. You. I mean, um, and I, I just think, um, you know, it's really powerful to remember that so many people flowing through are going to be on day one. And even if people are revisiting, they like to hear the same concepts. They like to learn and really cement things as a concept in their brain, especially when it's so new and uncommon, yeah. like is what you're teaching. Yeah. And I think because it's so out of the nine to five or eight to four, whatever kind of office hours, it's it can go either way. People are really either interested or they just keep scrolling. But that's what weeds everybody out because the people who mm -hmm. stay are not interested in the typical work life kind of setup. They want something different. And yeah, I mean, going live has just been a game changer, honestly, Matt. Yeah. And I wish I did it sooner. Yeah, totally. And, you know, some of the biggest, best, fastest growing names that I've ever seen in our community in multiple different niches, industries, are the people who go live regularly. It's crazy. And I've, I've seen it grow their channels quickly, but I've also just seen their conversions. So yeah. <clears throat> here's, here's a really good secret. And I know this is happening with you, which is why I'm going to bring this up. They're the conversion rate. So I say something um, in, in marketing that I feel like is important, which is not all leads are created equal. So <clears throat> a lot of times people will write into me and they'll say, hey, you know, what's your average lead value for the company? Meaning of all the leads that we get at Legendary Marketer, what's the average lead value? What are they worth? Um, so let's say we get 10,000 leads and we make $10,000 in sales. The average lead value is a dollar, right? Mm -hmm. But we might, that somebody might be thinking, okay, well, if I can generate a lead for less than a dollar, I'll be profitable. But you could go generate a lead through solo ads or Facebook ads or something like that versus, you know, somebody like Bonnie might refer us a customer who goes live every day who nurtures leads, who gives a, an exponentially more, who gives exponentially more value than maybe does a Facebook ad. And so your lead value will be higher because people are really tuned in and it's a hot buyer. That's what I call it. It's a hot buy, somebody who's ready to go super hot, ready to buy. And in the world of digital education and especially something where you might be selling something for a higher premium price, that is something that's crazy important. And over time, what you'll find is the people who are really giving a lot of value on the front end are often reaping the biggest rewards on the back end. Or it doesn't necessarily mean you have to be going live. Right. But in, the, in the, the way that they connect with their members, the way that they tell their story, maybe they have a Facebook group where they nurture those people or whether they go live on TikTok, whatever it is, the conversion rate, both to, to customers becoming a customer and then also purchasing something of a higher premium price is far higher. I cannot tell you the amount of times I look at my TikTok live analytics, how many unique viewers I've had. I compare it to how my email list grew literally in 90 minutes because sometimes I'm on hour, mm. hour and a half and then how many conversions I have within the hour. Hmm. Yeah. Blows my mind. Yep. Yeah. Makes sense. People are excited. They're in the moment, you know, and it's taking and lever. It's taking that audience, smushing them down into a single moment where you can really warm them up, give them a specific call to action. And then, you know, it's it's basically taking a lemon and squeezing everything you can out of that lemon, the lemon being your following. And um, yeah, wow, that's powerful. And that's when I powerful. thought about, you know, posting con content, super important. Don't get me wrong. You need to be consistent with your content. However, sure. there are questions asked during the live that nobody will think of asking on your content. You can mm. promote anything you want. But if someone watches a seven second clip, they're not going to think of a question about an email list or a question right. about, you know, how to find a product. 
they're going to watch your content and follow you. But then when they get in your lives, they're going to ask you questions. Mm -hmm. And for me, that was, that was the best way to connect with my audience. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Super powerful. You. Um, and you're going to be live later today. Yes. Uh, Monday. So it's a, uh, it's seven thirty eight here, California. Same here. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good morning. Uh, you know, where I'm going to be live, um, 9am and, cool. um, usually on about an hour, hour and a half, uh, share my story, share my journey, explain wow. what full mass digital marketing is, what it's not. Um, I do pride myself. There aren't many things in my life I pride myself on, but this I do. I'm very honest and transparent in my lives. Yeah. Th cool. That that's people will see right through the, you know, the smoke screens if you put them up. And sure. um, yeah, I'm very honest and transparent about this type of work, whether you're, you know, you're looking for a way to work from home or you want to start a full online business, you know, you got to know everything when you get into it or even think of getting into it. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Cool. Yeah. Well, yeah. For everybody who's on with us, a couple hundred people, people will be watching this uh, as a replay. For everybody who's on here, you can find Bonnie at uh, This Mom Hustles Hard. And uh, what a great handle. I love that. Okay. On TikTok, on Instagram. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. And uh, I would encourage everybody, set a little reminder. Just, you know, you everybody's got their phone open right now. I guarantee it. Yeah. So take out your phone, set a, set a little timer for uh 9 a.m set an alarm for 9 a.m or i guess noon eastern if you're in eastern time uh watch this over lunch but go tune in and watch bonnie some of you asked you know what does she talk about on her lives what is you know uh go follow bonnie on tiktok comment let her know hey i found you on wake up legendary i'm excited to follow your account whatever <clears throat> and then Tune into her lives every single day, noon Eastern, 9 a.m. Pacific time, uh, and watch watch a master at work. Watch a master. Oh, Matt, thank you. That's that's, that's and, very nice. That's very yeah, nice. Yeah. Well, you. you've you you are a master. You've tapped into, um, and I don't just say that. I mean, I've seen your lives. I mean, I've Goodness. watched some of your lives, and you've tapped into something. You've brought in what a master does is they take their existing skill set. They look at what's my life history here? What have I done well? What do I know? How can I apply that in a way where I can leverage and make money using this thing called the internet where I have infinite reach to the entire world? How could I do that? And that's exactly what you do in your lives, which is really powerful. Thank you. Of course. Yeah. It's, I mean, what an example. Everybody who's sitting here watching, listening, uh, you know, typing in the comments, everybody is so many, not everybody, so many people don't realize that they could tune in and watch your live. And it's one of the most powerful things that they could ever do uh, to watch somebody um, on, just on their shit, just really <laughs> locked Thank in, you. dialed in, and connecting with people through social media, which is a really powerful skill, it takes a little bit of time to build that skill, but it's a very, very powerful skill. Yeah. And sometimes I, I wish I started going live sooner and more consistently, but I may have not been in the right headspace. And yeah. you have to just, you in general, when you commit to going live, you commit to going live. Yep. And you own that time. It's your life. So you don't, uh, you know, someone said this to me on my live the other day where someone came in and, and, and they were being obnoxious. And I scrolled it. I scrolled up and I saw the comments and this person said, it's your life. Don't let anyone dictate how you do it. And I was like, Man, they're right. They're right. Yeah. yeah. They're right. They're yeah. right. Well, cool. Bonnie, thank you so much for coming thank on. You. It was my pleasure. It was nice meeting face to face, Matt. <laughs> yeah, likewise. Likewise. I well, I felt like, you know, so sometimes people are like, um, you know, it's it's it feels like I already know you, Matt. Uh, and this is one of the rare times where I had that experience with you, where oh, I've already you. seen your lives just pop up on my thing and I'm like, Oh, okay, I'll tune in for a sec. And um, and so I already felt like I knew you oh. because you're such oh. a you're such Thank a damn you. TikTok celebrity, you know? Oh, my goodness. 
<laughs> and to think I almost never got on it, right? I know, I know, right? Well, we'll look back on this day someday, and uh, you know, maybe we'll. You should screenshot this or screenshot, you know, this episode on our Facebook page or whatever. Save it, and uh, we'll probably look back on this day and think, you know, remember back when you had twelve thousand followers, and and you'll have you know, whatever, 500,000 followers. Oh my goodness. You know, you'll have, you'll have your own coaching program and all of this kind of stuff. And, uh, this, this, you know, the same way you look back on day one of your TikTok, right? The same way we look back on that and we're like, yeah, day one, that was, that was crazy. You know, remember those days? I didn't even know what I was doing. You know, that, that happens (laughs) all the time and it's, and it's a fun thing to see. So, well, cool. I'm going to send everybody over to your live and, uh, we'll send them all over to your TikTok account and and uh, get you even more followers and and you'll inspire that. lots of people. I appreciate that. Thanks, Matt. This this has been wonderful. Thank you. Awesome, okay. of course. Hey, and and make sure to reach out in a couple months. We'd love to have you back on. I will. I will. This was oh. this was wonderful. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Let's do it again. <laughs> cool. Have a good rest of your morning, Bonnie. You too. Thanks, Matt. You got it. All right, everybody. So it's at this mom hustles hard. You can find her on Instagram. You can find her on TikTok. Uh, she goes live every single Monday through Friday. So listen, many of you are new with content. You're newer with social media. You're like, you know, oh, man, what could I possibly do? How? What's a good example of somebody who can who can kind of show me the ropes and maybe somebody who's a little newer, maybe somebody who's um, who this didn't come natural to. That's the point. I think that's a big takeaway for me today is um, if you're, if you're like, God, this whole social media creating, creating videos, I don't know how to do this. I don't even know how to set up my TikTok. Look, Bonnie's just a great example of somebody who's just said, Hey, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to get consistent. I'm going to post content. I'm going to go live. Go follow Bonnie and and watch some of her lives. Comment on her lives. Give her some likes on her lives, and um, and help sort of blow up her account even more than it has because she's such an inspiration to our community and to just you know like I said she was on my for you page to a lot of people who don't know who Bonnie is to a lot of people who don't know um um how to make money online um. They discover Bonnie's live. They discover her channel, and um, yeah. And and every time that you're doing that, you're sort of building. We call it good business karma. Um, and eventually that comes back around. So this mom hustles hard. Go give Bonnie a follow. We'll be back here tomorrow again, 10 a.m. Eastern, for another episode of Wake Up Legendary. We go live here every single uh every single day at. Uh, 10 a.m. Eastern, Monday through Friday. So you've got us at 10 a.m. Eastern. As soon as you tune off, go do a little bit of work. Tune into Bonnie at noon Eastern. And uh, and and you can just make this a whole little thing every day. That This is what you do. So, all right. Um, and uh, Michelle says, and Bonnie answers her emails. How cool is that? What a beast. Love it. All right, guys, see you back here tomorrow, 10 a.m. Eastern. Peace out. See you.